new vial. This is Gorilla Glue number four. It's way different from the other stuff. <coughs> Morning, everybody. I'm Barrett, and welcome to another Stoner Tries video. Yesterday, Daryl and I risked life and limb to go to a city close to us called Saskatoon because they have way more uh, ethnic markets than Prince Albert does. And we found a Latino market that I went a little fucking stir crazy and hog wild in and I bought a ton of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some, um, a variety of snacks from, all the packages say they're made in El Salvador. The lady at the store was very talkative and friendly and there was stuff from Mexico, Colombia, uh, El Salvador, uh, Brazil, uh, there was uh, there was a bunch of them. Ecuador, I think she said, was another place. Uh, so the first two we're going to try are from the same company called Diana. And these are a uh, nacho uh, tortilla chip that is cheese flavored. This is what the packaging looks like. They're kind of a cross between a, a small handheld bag and a, and a bit of a bigger one. Like, well, I don't know, maybe this is about the size of a bag of Lay's chips or something now, I guess, or a bag of Doritos. So we're going to start with the uh, cheese flavored nachos. Yeah. Well, oh, they smell nice. All right. So they're not like triangle shaped or circular like, like most are. They've got this weird uh, six-sided form. All right. They smell just like any other kind of na nacho tortilla. Nice crunch. Good nacho cheese flavor. They taste just like a, like a Dorito. Oh, these are really fucking good. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Like there was so much stuff there. Like I spent over a hundred dollars yesterday in Saskatoon and I got the feeling that I could have probably easily have spent another hundred dollars in that store. So in a few more months, <clears throat> I'm sure we'll go back and grab some more stuff. Because, yeah, if this is any indication of what the snaps are going to be like. Plus, come on, Daryl. That chick was cute, right? She was really cute. Well, okay, well, these are a really good nacho cheese corn snack. Mmm. So, the second package, as I mentioned a little earlier, is also from the same company, Diana. These are called Cheese Teens, cheese flavored snack, or quesitos. They look like the cheesy. This is the bag they come in. They had some really spicy looking ones there, but I don't do so good with spice, so I held off buying them, but I will next time. Oh, they look like Cheetos. Yeah, the highways were fucking, it was storming badly yesterday. I was the one that suggested that we almost come back a couple of times, but Daryl was, no, fuck that, we're going to Saskatoon for the cheesies. So here we go. Well. Wow. 
what these remind me of are those uh, Hawkins cheesies that I don't know if you can get them down in the United States or not but up here in Canada we have these cheesies they're fucking awesome by a company called Hawkins and that's the consistency I'm getting from this like it's not as cheese flavored as any other like it's not very strongly flavored I don't think anyway but it's still a nice crunchy snack salty mix these in with some of these tortillas I'm sure you have a nice little snack on your hands well yeah they're not bad but they're not great before we start in on the last one. Oh, you like them too? That's good. I tried to pick things that we might both like because Daryl doesn't do very good with spice as I don't. But actually, we're talking about getting the Packy One Chip Challenge just to try that out for shits and giggles. interested to see what this third one will be like. Boca Deli Trompetas de Pizza. They look like um, oh, what are those fucking, what are these? Um, bugles. Bugles. Thank you. These look like bugles. And as I said earlier as well, this is also from El Salvador with more pizza flavor. All right, you give it a shot. Oh, these smell pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I was drawing a blank there, but then at least you remember bugle. These are just like a bugle. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna shove a few of these in. Hmm. So, I don't know about anybody watching this video right now, or even Daryl, for that matter, but whenever I find a snack that's supposed to be pizza flavored, I always find myself being a little disappointed because all it ever really tastes of is like tomato sauce or something really. And sadly these are almost like these are the same thing, but they're a nice salty snack. And there is something else in them, but it mostly just tastes of tomatoes, but they're good. Most of these bags I think were in the neighborhood of about three or four dollars. I'm sure they were a little bit more than, you know, domestic, obviously because they're importing them from, from Central America and whatnot. So, but I didn't mind paying the extra cost for these just to be able to, to try these, something different, something new. Well, of all of them, I really like the nachos the best. What about you? Uh, the nachos and the cheesies. You like the cheesies as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheesies probably my favorite. Okay. All right. Well, maybe I'll send you home with them then. All right. Well, that was our first adventure into the Latino market. We'll, we will have quite a few more videos to come in the future. So I hope you decide to check them out as well. And with that, I'd like to say thanks for watching this video. If you could like and subscribe, that would be deadly. If you ever want to reach out to us, we'd love to hear from you. You can do it here on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, and you can go to our email address. It's entertainmentonhigh at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you, all right? Have a great day.